Prince Harry's visit to New York City has been anything but ordinary. He began a multi-day working trip by attending a high-profile dinner hosted by the World Health Organization, WHO. The event, which took place on Sunday, had a serious focus, violence against children and its devastating impact on mental health. This poignant theme set the tone for Harry's participation in this humanitarian mission, bringing with it reminders of the dark realities millions of children face worldwide. Accompanying Harry at the dinner was an international cast of notable figures, including Queen Mathilde of Belgium and the Belgian Prime Minister, Alexander de Croo. Harry and Queen Mathilde shared a brief, customary kiss on the cheek, a moment that, although cordial, carried historical weight. The ties between Harry's British royal family and the Belgian royals run deep, tracing back to Queen Victoria and Prince Leopold of Saxe-Coburg, who became King of the Belgians in 1831. These intricate bloodlines connect Harry to a global network of royalty, a network that extends beyond his current departure from the royal duties. However, it wasn't just royalty gracing the evening. Who Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus was present, along with Hollywood stars Forrest Whitaker and Will Poulter. The presence of these well-known actors highlighted the growing convergence of celebrity activism with global humanitarian efforts, bringing even more attention to the event's cause. For Harry, this visit marks more than just a royal obligation. Since stepping back from his senior royal duties and moving to the U.S., he has been deeply engaged in various causes, especially mental health. His appearance at this dinner and his upcoming engagements during the U.N. General Assembly's high-level week, as well as Climate Week, signal his enduring commitment to making a difference on a global scale. His time in New York will also see him reconnect with organizations he has remained closely involved with, further solidifying his transition from traditional royal roles to a more activist-driven path. Despite the high-profile attendees and the significant cause being addressed, the dinner did not fully escape the shadow of Harry's controversial departure from royal life. The looming question, how will Harry redefine his role on the world stage, particularly in settings that once primarily belonged to traditional royalty, permeated the evening? Many wonder if his attendance is a statement of his personal commitment to global causes or if it is a strategic effort to maintain the prestige and influence that comes with being a royal. For many in attendance, the significance of Prince Harry being there is a reminder of the growing influence of former royals, individuals who, while no longer tethered to their official duties, still hold tremendous sway in international affairs. One can't help but feel a mix of sadness and suspense as Harry navigates these waters, standing on the delicate balance between royal tradition and his pursuit of a new identity. While his decision to step down from royal duties still garners mixed reactions, it is clear that Harry has not abandoned his commitment to global humanitarian efforts. The dinner's focus on children's mental health, an issue Harry has long been passionate about, points to a continued effort on his part to use his platform for advocacy even as his title and roles evolve. Yet, as he moves forward, there remains an air of uncertainty. Can Prince Harry, separated from his royal lineage, truly create a lasting impact in the world of humanitarian work, or will his past continue to overshadow his efforts? As Harry continues his engagements in New York, including attending Climate Week, the global community is left to watch his next moves with curiosity. His role as an independent advocate for causes that once intertwined with his royal duties is still unfolding, and with each appearance, he shapes the narrative of his post-royal life. Whether this transformation will ultimately allow him to succeed or prove too much of a departure from the traditional role remains to be seen. What is certain is that Prince Harry, once known as the rebellious royal, is now navigating a more complex, yet still deeply personal path.